Only two courthouses remain from the famous Eighth Judicial Circuit, which Abraham Lincoln rode. One of those is in Metamora. This um, is one of the two original courthouses that still remain that were on the Eighth Judicial Circuit. And uh, this building was finished in, it began in 1844, uh, finished in 1845, and that's when Lincoln began to practice law here. Um, we have pioneer artifacts from the period that Lincoln was practicing here, again, the 1840s, 1850s. And I think it will give people an idea of what the lifestyle was like around here when Lincoln was practicing. Uh, the Metamore House was a small hotel boarding house that was located here in Metamora when Lincoln was practicing law. The judges, uh, the lawyers would, unless they could finagle an invitation to uh, stay with a, a local family here, they had to make do with uh, less than uh, uh, luxurious conditions of, the, of those kinds of places. And the Metamore House was uh, one where uh, the circuit riders did stay and we have a nice display of things that were used when Lincoln was practicing. This was a table that was in the office of Newton Bateman, who was the superintendent of schools. And uh, this was a table around which uh, Mr. Lincoln and others gathered to uh, plan his campaign strategy for the presidency. And because Mr. Lincoln was so tall, he had difficulty um, sitting at the table and he couldn't flex his knees underneath it. And um, People suggested putting it up on casters and he said that would make it uncomfortable for everyone else. So they cut out a section for Mr. Lincoln's knees. Okay, we also have a, a table um, here uh, that was located in a tavern in Bowling Green, which no longer exists. Supposedly Mr. Lincoln was served uh, at this table and you can see the spider uh, the spiders on the table, which is basically marks left from hot skillets when uh, it was used at the tavern. Um, the courtroom is restored. It is uh, much like it, uh, almost like the when Lincoln was practicing here. Visitors will be able to walk on the same floor Mr. Lincoln and just David Davis walked on. It is the original floor. Over the years, there were two layers of flooring put uh, over the original floor in the 1970s, a reconstruction project uh, took it down to the original floor. When the uh, circuit riders would arrive in the villages, such as Minamora, usually the, they would stay here for about a week holding trials, representing people, local people. The circuit was ridden in the spring and the fall, and obviously that was because of the, the extreme conditions of the summer and winter, and they came to this particular courthouse in September, April and September. Juries were uh, selected by a lottery system. There were 12 people selected by a lottery from 24 names. Uh, only landowners could be uh, grand jurors and uh, jurors uh, could receive from anywhere from 25 cents to 50 cents a day for service. Probably the most famous and perhaps the last case Mr. Lincoln tried here uh, is the Melissa Goings trial. Um, Mrs. Goings was accused of the murder of her husband. Mr. Lincoln represented her. Um, on the day that she was arraigned, the trial was to be held later that afternoon. When Mr. Lincoln showed up, um, Melissa Goings, his client, was gone. And uh, people wondered if he had told her that things weren't looking so well for her and advised her to leave. And he said, I didn't run her off, she just asked me where she could get a good drink of water and I told her there was darn good water in Tennessee. So that's probably the most famous Woodford County case Mr. Lincoln tried. After this was no longer the county seat, no longer a working courthouse, um, the village of Minamora took the building over. It was sort of a, a mini civic center. It was also a place where entertainment events were held. Uh, the state took it over as a state historic site in 1921, in which it's been ever since. And to reach the Metamora Courthouse State Historical Site, call 309-367-4470.